That Tuesday in July started out just like any other day the past few months. There was no warning it was to be the most terrifying day of my life. I remember thinking how tired I felt. Even the housework seemed drudgery, and so meaningless with George confined to his bed. No one to see or care even. And then I got scared, because I knew I was beginning to feel sorry for myself. George was the one who was ill, and he needed all of my thoughts and attention, and above all, my cheerfulness. I tried not to think about us, about George, how he changed. I told myself it was just my imagination that things would be different when he was well and strong again. Then I thought I heard him call. George, did you call? George, are you all right? Yes, Ellen. You want anything? Not now. I've just begun work on an insurance report for the office. Well, call me, dear, if you need me. Okay. There was something about George's voice. I found myself thinking about the first time we'd met. How different he was in those days. 